This course is, what I've decided to name it as, is the neuromuscular connections. Uh, and the question that I want to answer for you, or for even myself again, is how do we move anyway, right? So we've been through, you guys have all been through um, this whole rehab course. You know what, you're really great at identifying problem areas for clients and knowing what to do with them. But one of the big questions that I always have and I like to ask myself over and over again is, how is that movement happening? And what goes wrong? What can go wrong that doesn't allow the movement to happen? And when we get uh, into that question, then we have to trace back and find out where is that motion actually coming from? The motion doesn't start in the muscles, otherwise we wouldn't really have control over it, right? So we're really gonna be talking about more that voluntary muscular work. There are involuntary muscle work that happen in our bodies all the time. That's why your heart beats. That's why you breathe while you're sleeping. Like those things we're not purposely doing. But as soon as you move a finger, you move uh, your arm, you take a step, right? That's all under your control. And so this, of course, hopefully will give you an understanding of how we are um, moving. And then what happens when the signals to move are not working the way they should. Right. And that's where we get into the neurological issues that you'll see with clients like ALS, like MS, where you, people who have had strokes, people who have had brain injuries. Um, and we can even touch on spinal cord injuries because that has to do with nervous system as well. So, um, so I'm going to take you on a trip down the road of neuroanatomy. Um, such a big, scary title. But we're going to dig in and um, we'll see, see what we get. So objectives of the course is basically to, general, to develop a general understanding of neuroanatomy and how we can create and execute movements that we create in our daily life, that we use in Pilates and in our daily life. So how are we actually creating the movements? Um, understand, we're, in here, we'll understand the basic functions of the brain and spinal cord, which make up your central nervous system, and then including kind of the parts of the brain and the brain areas. We're gonna understand how the brain communicates to create motion or how we from our brains create motion. We're gonna teach you how muscles contract or why they contract when they do. And we'll, then we'll get to the dis dysfunctions and how they present in different people. And then we're gonna come circle back into, okay, now what do we do? How do we help this population with a Pilates repertoire or Pilates based repertoire how can we help them with their challenges that they have?